Hi there, quick video, because I got something wrong. Oh no, kind of, let's talk about it. In a recent video, I recreated MKBHD's new uh, video intro for 2023 completely in Resolve. Link to that video in the description. Uh, click, don't go watch that until after this one, okay? Okay, okay. <laughs> As part of that video, we had this cool little uh, textured 3D cube flying through space. And I showed off a really um, interesting way of, you know, texturing this cube uh, with projectors in real 3D space. Walking through that process, still valuable, that's still like a cool workflow. But immediately after I showed that off, um, I also said in the video like, hey, um, there's probably a different or better way to do this that someone out there knows. Um, and within minutes of uploading the video, someone was in the comments like, yes, there is a better way. So let me show you the better way. Here uh, I have the full node tree for this like whole scene. That's intense. Uh, let's come all the way back here, right? So we had a cube that was just a standard 3D cube with the shape 3D node with the shape set to cube going into a merge. And then we had all of these projectors shining various textures onto each side, just like white, black, and green. Uh, the green we later keyed out if you want more info. Again, watch that video. And that got us this texture cube um, that we then sent to a transform 3D to like rotate the entire scene, all of that. But instead of that, <laughs> what I could have done was just make a cube 3D node. Um, if I preview that by itself, hey, it's a cube um, with gross colored sides. What's going on here? Well, if we look at the cube versus the shape 3D node, um, the cube has all these extra inputs. And if we mouse over them, we can see, okay, we have like the scene, then we have front, left, top, uh, cube 3D, I don't know, uh, uh, bottom and back, four, five, six. So six sides, and then whatever this is, which hey, uh, probably ma material deal, I don't know. Oh, hey, cube mapping. Um, if you just want to input into uh, one, if you just want to input uh, one texture into all six faces, you click that option. Cool, good to know. This is the Resolve manual, by the way. It's cool, you should read it. Okay, <laughs> so instead of all these projectors, which I positioned in 3D space, what I could have done, which just made, hey, a white solid, uh, or a black solid, a white solid, and then a, a solid green solid, and done some uh, nifty work by figuring out which of these which. Let's go, this on back and front, right there, front and. Oh, hey, uh, we have a material tab. Um, with the diffuse texture, did we even need these? If I come back to cube, set front and back to white, set right and left to green, and what was this, top and bottom to black, top, bottom to black, Oh, that's all we needed to do. We didn't even need to, it's easier than I thought. This is just this uh, standard like diffuse texture. So just like the flat color on that. So, wow. Hey, look, one node that replaces 12, 14 nodes. <laughs> that's pretty good. That's pretty good. And that's how, that's how fusion goes most of the time. I could have had this one cube and then, Hey, even with this one cube, I could have used the default transform options. Cause now, um, all of that texturing is actually like painted onto the side, but don't forget, um, that you still have these inputs for stuff like this. I could take this media in. Um, let me find one of these that has the front is white. I can pipe in this video into that front and then, Hey, now, we have video on that side. Um, it will squish that. So I could always do something like, hey, make a new background node, make uh, go into the image settings, change that over to like a, a square 1080 by 1080. Connect that to my video. And then I could either scale that down so you see the entire thing or you know scale it up so it fills the frame, connect that into my input. And then now, hey, on just a side of my cube, I have that one video playing. You can have a different video on all of these sides. I have some cool ideas for like like a transition or effect using this, where you can like take this video, put it on 3D and do some fun stuff. I don't know, we'll see how that goes. But for now, you know, hey, you want a super simple textured 3D cube that you can go and then do anything with? Uh, the cube 3D node. Um, if you just want colors, just use the material tab. It's super easy to connect in video. It will squish the video if you don't um, put it on a square comp, because that's how that goes. Super cool. Now in my video, I also did have this cylinder that I believe um, you would still need to use these projectors to like, especially wrap around this middle side. Uh, maybe not, maybe someone else will be in the comments telling me how I would do that better. Um, there is like a proper like material, like this deal and like you can input materials 
but I, again, haven't done much 3D stuff. But for now, hey, super easy 3D cube deal, um, especially in this to toggle down if you just do solid. Um, if you wanted, you could add like real 3D lighting and all that stuff, you know, that's pretty wild. But this is pretty cool, right? That's all. If you want to see more of this full project, link in the description and probably I'll, I'll add like a linky thing up here as well. Cool. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.